sitting here at the dock waiting to launch at uh, Fox Grove. And uh, I figured I'd make a little update video on the pontoon boat. Uh, first thing I did was, in the last video, I completely fucked up the transom. Let's try and get out of the glare. So as you can see here, well, I don't know, the sun is shitty right now. I got it mounted at a 25 degree angle, which gives me the full options available for my trim. And uh, that helped out a lot, but it didn't solve all my problems because I, uh, I mounted the motor too low. Uh, what happens is I get water coming through the pontoons and it hits too much of my uh, motor, which creates its own drag. So it wants to get up on plane, it in front end comes out of the water, and then once the drag, as the water starts coming faster, the drag hits the, the motor itself and it slows back down. So what I decided to do was put a belly pan all the way across. So I don't know if you can see that very well, but what that's the back of it, if you will. That was once open, and all the water would come through there. And this runs the full length of the boat all the way across. So, we're going to take it out and make sure it holds water right now. And if it does, I'm going to uh, clean it all up real good and start painting. Uh, <clears throat> also got my lights mounted up. These are seven 150 watt high pressure sodium lights. Eventually, when I get them all working correctly, I'll have a switch panel for rights, lefts, and centers. And uh, I'll run conduit underneath here to a switch panel so I don't have to use those plugs um, I, before I took the time to wire them all up, you know, 100% legit. I decided just to get them temporarily done using some old extension cord I had. Um, first problem I ran into was with my 2000 watt generator. I didn't want to push all seven at a time because I ordered the wrong lights without capacitors. So I ordered seven capacitors and they should be here on uh, Friday. And then with that belly pan, where I used to only have a tiny little storage compartment underneath here. Now I've got a huge storage compartment. I could fit a shit ton of beers, human beings, whatever I wanted underneath here. Start sneaking people across the border. Whatever the fuck I wanted to do. So, I'm going to try and get this pig on the water and see if my modifications made any difference. <laughs> 